hello everyone it's your girl salisa here and welcome back to our next video if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscription button and be a part of the family you want to see how i create this hairstyle just continue watching So I'm going to be using two pack of 48 inch TZ pre-stretch braid and its color is a number one. I'm using my Shannon Jump for braiders, my tail comb, my crochet needle, um, a clip to help me here and some black elastic band. I started the back by parting the back. So I made my section in the back. So while parting, I use my finger. So as I part, I put my finger there so the hair won't go back in it. Anyways, after parting the back, I use the Shine and Jump for braids to make my, my parting look clean and neat. I went in by parting the back in three sections, then I do my black elastic band method. And for the whole time, I just completed this with the elastic band method. And I use the Shine and Jump at the roots. I didn't use it at the end because what I realized when I use it at the end, the hair tends to slipped when i'm rope twisting so i didn't bother to use it i just only use it at the root just to make the hair look sleek and neat you can just only imagine doing your hair and doing all of your hair and had to go back over it to do it it's like oh my god it's like a double word but anyway you need something you have to go and get it done so anyway guys um the most part of it is just to get my hair part clean and I give it my best shot knowing that I'm using only one mirror, which is the front mirror. The back, I was just hitting and missing and hoping that it part properly. As I said, I use my finger and I, you know, using your finger, when you go over it with the Shannon Jump, you know, the Shannon Jump, let it be more harder if you're not actually seeing what you're doing. Because the Shannon Jam is wet and you know it will let it go off it if you don't try to part in a straight line. And guys, look at this whole completion of the elastic band method. And sorry for the lighting. My lighting went off and I didn't realize. But guys, I still ensure that I give you a good video. And guys, look at that. Look at that. That looks so professionalism. That looks like I went in the salon chair. <laughs> anyway, guys, I started by sectioning the hair. So when sectioning the hair, I twist the area that I'm going to hold in the crochet needle. Then I hook it and I pull it underneath the elastic band. While I pull it through, I hold my hair and the two parts of the hair ends, which is the braid, and pull try to pull through one because if i don't do like that both will come out anyway guys i try to twist one side first because you know you want to get it tight and you know you're in the back once you're in the back of your head twisting you know you you can't get that angle properly so you know you have to try your best to twist it tight as possible and also twist it that it won't ease up off the rope. i try to maintain the tightness of the rope because at this point that is the most important part of this hairstyle is the root once you got the real root tight down looking neat you know your finishing will look really nice and decent so at the end of the day while twisting this hairstyle sometimes i don't know how but it like one piece small short so i have to borrow from my neighbor <laughs> or from my sister to get it even so it can have an even ending as i said the back part which is the center of the back of your head is the most difficult part to get twist because you know well i am not an um octopus so you know <laughs> it's gonna be a bit difficult for me but at the end of the day i execute so if you're someone who like to do your hair you never try never stop trying until you get what you want so the moment you tell yourself okay i can't get this too i mean like you going forever be like that so you always have to keep trying and motivate yourself to get your hair done getting my hair done is one of the most beautiful thing i can think about you know what it, what you look like when your hair is properly done you understand what i mean it looks so nice and beautiful so anyway guys when you're 
pushing through the hair you want to be very careful for me i ease up the elastic band so the braid can go through easily without pulling my hair and you want to do the same thing also when i pull through the hair i use my hair and i pull it split it in two so it share with the braid and also i make sure that the braided ends are even because you don't want to have an uneven end and you don't want some of the ends look longer than some so you want to make sure that everything is even and don't forget while twisting your hair don't while twisting don't drag it so the twisting will look long tighten it at the root twist it tightly until you feel comfortable then you started to move forward because don't forget you want to maintain that rope twist that you're looking for and you don't want it look like a regular twist so don't forget and at this point i did as i said i did not use any vaseline and i did not use the shine and jump on the end of my hair only the root because i want my hair to twist properly twisting your hair with the shine and jam yes it makes your hair look shine and beautiful also the vaseline yes it does and it lets your finger move faster but for me personally doing my own hair i prefer not to use it because it's going to let my hair stretch and i don't want the rotis to look stretchy i want the rotis to twist to look twisting i want it to you know what i mean you know how rope is supposed to look you want it looking like that but doing someone else hair yes i use it because it does make the hair look beautiful and shine but after completing my hair myself and doing my hot water method and all of that i used my hair spray and my hair was so fine and guys look at that this is the I'm completing up the twisting. So what's happened now? I use my edge wax to do my edges and I totally forget that I didn't do the hot water method. So you know when doing the hot water method, the heat from the water just melt the edges. <laughs> Who does that? Only me. Anyway guys, you want to be very careful when doing the hot water method because you don't want to irritate your scalp. You don't want to burn your scalp. You don't want to damage yourself okay you don't want to be blistered okay so be very careful after doing the hot water method so the top area that didn't get any hot water you know i'm not gonna push my scarf down in the water <laughs> i use a ton towel and i dab some of the hot water and that area that didn't get any hot water i use it to dab it and bring down all the hairs and guys tell me what do you think about this finishing look tell me about the twist guys tell me what do you think don't forget to, to watch until the end and tell me what do you think and see you in my next video happy new year